Hey everyone, Ronaldo Offerman with Master School Dances. Today we're going to talk about the Marathon Cases. This particular one's going to be for the Denon MC6000. Now with this particular one, instead of a slide-out laptop tray or one that sits out on the side, it folds back nice and easy, and it's got a very durable hinge, so you can easily put the laptop directly on top. As you fold it down, there are individual little foam padding here just to keep it from hitting your Denon. So let's go ahead and kind of fit everything together and you can see how much room and how spacious a marathon case is. Now the marathon cases come with plenty of foam padding and foam blocks. And these are super crucial because I enjoy, or I'm really fond of making sure everything fits in perfectly. Right, again, I'm gonna just gonna move these guys out of the way. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, use the microphone. So we're just gonna take them here we're going to fold it like that, and we insert it just like that. Next, we're going to use our handy dandy power strip. Now, I'm a fan of having everything come through the front. I think it's a lot cleaner. We're just going to have it right over there. Now, at this point, I can use a couple of these little blocks. These little foam pieces can be trimmed around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of mark here. And then I'm just going to use a knife and cut it so I can fit the cord nice and snug. You can see there that it fits now real nicely. And it's going to prevent it from moving around. Now, if you're one of those people like me that likes your microphone closer to the front, you can move this to the front and then use whatever extensions, you're, you know, whatever connectors your antenna uses, whether they're BNC or anything else, find an extension cable so that way you can mount your antennas towards the back. Now we're going to go ahead and start working on the actual power strip for the Denon. Now the very first thing that you'll see here is that for some reason or another, Denon in their infinite wisdom used a regular power uh, plug like this versus a 90 degree. So I recommend getting some sort of 90 degree adapter to keep that from breaking off. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out. So I'm gonna put my microphone plug right here towards this part. Now I'm going to plug the Denon in towards the back. Now one of the nice things is that there's enough room that the Denon will sit without having to be pushed up. It's going to sit nice and flush because of how deep the case is. And again, I'm going to use these little foam pieces to keep this nice and snug. Okay, so we've loaded now the power supply and I've used a few more of these blocks to tie it in together. Again, this is all nice and snug. This is nice and snug as well. Now let's go ahead and slide the MC6000 in. Now at first glance, you may think, wait a second, there's not enough room. And that's fine, because that's what these guys here are for. We're gonna use them just to kind of patch it in and make it a little bit thicker. This means that, you know, at the same time, if a newer version comes out uh, that's a little bit wider, you can remove these blocks and put either, you know, a, a newer unit or a completely different unit as well. Another option you could do with these is you can actually just put these guys right here. Let's go ahead and lay out patch cables. So the USB cables off to the side there. So the concept of a patch cable is pretty obvious. Basically, you're always going to have one end plugged into the back of your mixer because as you plug and unplug and plug and unplug, these things actually have ratings. Any kind of connection has a rating of how many times you can plug and unplug it before it's going to fail. By having it always plugged in, it's going to be this patch end that's going to eventually get messed up. And it's a lot easier replacing the cable than replacing the end of one of these guys. And now we have the mic cable. Okay, so once we're done, I'm going to push this back a little bit. I want these to be flush with the opening. That way I can sl slide those cables over the top. And we're just going to put this guy directly in. You're good. We're good to go there. So now, the laptop hinge one's right here. You'll see these foam paddings. We're actually going to take those out. Once it's closed, you'll see the little top pieces that I have there. Stop the lid from going all the way down. And again, you can trim it if you need to, or you can use the regular blocks. I showed you both ways. But even if those blocks there also keep the lid from hitting the dent on and rubbing up against the actual knobs. So in my case, because I don't want it, Oh, I want to be able to close it all the way through. I'm just going to put that right there. And now it's nice and snug. It's not going to move side to side. 
and I got plenty of room on the side if I want to real quick just put my iPad mini or my iPhone or my mint notes anything like that so essentially when my DJ is ready to go out and do his event all you got to do is just pull the antennas out there and I you don't have to lift them all the way up like that because you still have to hinge to do so you just kind of pull them in there and you're still gonna get a really good reception on there and then you put your laptop on top you have your cables that come out and everything else and super easy so let's go ahead and fold it up Again, it closes on the actual foam piece. You don't have to worry about it hitting the dent on. Okay, so then we just close it right here. And there it is. That's the Marathon MATKS4LT case for your Denon MC6000 or other like-sized unit. My name is Arnoldo Offerman with Master School Dances. Thank you so much and God bless.